do this by saying this equals this number two divided by control shift down. I just want to pick up that 25,000. So it's just that number two divided by the 25,000. I want it to be absolute. So F4 in the keyboard, dollar sign before the J and the nine, enter. I'm gonna percentify this whole column, or I could just do this one cell and then copy it down maybe. Home tab, number, percentify, so we can recognize and then add some decimals and then double click on the fill handle and boom, it copies it on down. So now we're comparing these percentages and I could say, okay, what's the difference between our percentages, difference between what we got to what we would have predicted if we used these numbers and multiplied times our 25,000 count or something, right? Or got our percentages. So let's go to the home tab, uh, font, black, white, alignment, center, wrap, and then difference equals the P of X minus the percent of total. I'm going to percentify it, home tab, number, percentify, add some decimals, double click it down on the fill handle. And so you can see the differences are pretty low for the most part. So once again, indication that, uh, indication that this could conform to a bell curve and a bell curve could give us good information about this data. Okay, so now we wanna say, okay, let me graph this thing, this actual bell curve. Uh, I could graph it first to just see what it looks like in terms of our percentages. So I'm gonna put my cursor here, control shift down, shift up so I don't pick up the total. Scroll back up to the top, insert. I'm gonna to go to the charts. First, I'm gonna just hit the bar chart and let's just check, take a look at a, a standard bar chart. There it is, there's our bar chart. And so now I can say, okay, maybe I can look at this bar chart and compare it to my actual percent data. So remember we did this one over here with, with the numbers, but now I'm gonna do it, comparing it with our percents of the actual data and put them on top of each other. So before I do though, I'm getting ahead of myself. Hold on, hold your horse. You hold your horse. Your horse is tired, it needs a hug. So I'm gonna change this bottom bit because it shouldn't start at one, it should start at 80. Selecting the data, chart design, data, and I'm gonna say selecting the data, edit group on the right, and then we'll select this item. I'm gonna put my cursor on the 80 shift down, control sh uh, sh or just shift up so that I don't pick that up. And then I'm gonna say, okay, and okay. So make sure to check it on this side because sometimes it gets a little picky over here and it doesn't pick it up, but it looks like it did it. So there it goes. So there's our smooth bell curve. Now let's add this on top of it to see our actual data in percent form on top of the bell curve stuff. So I could then go to the data and I could say, let's add another. It's gonna be the percent of the total as the name. Delete this stuff, make sure you, it's a little tricky here. It gets a little sketchy. It's not hard, but it's, but sometimes Excel doesn't do what you tell it to do. And you gotta be like, okay, Excel, I'm not mad. I'm not mad or anything, but you're not doing it. You're not doing what I said to do. And it's just frustrating. I'm just disappointed just disappoints me when you do that Excel. And then if you talk to it nicely like that, then it usually starts to work. So that you can see that this lines up pretty close, our actual data and that you can also do that with a, a line graph. I probably should have show a line graph just to show the difference, but that's the idea. So now I can say, all right, now I can make an area uh, chart of it if I wanted to, because we're usually thinking about terms of areas not the bar chart. So I can take my actual bell curve and say my bell curve is good to go now. And let's make an area uh, chart with it. So I'm gonna go up top and say, I want to insert uh, this time an area thing, an area chart, not just a, like a thing. And then we'll say, okay. And so now we have the area and I, I once again need to change the bottom bit down here. So I'm gonna go to my data and then this, this one on the right, 
I'm going to then say I want you to be the X stuff here and then the dancing ants do their X axis dance see how it didn't do it see that Excel why I'm not mad I'm just saying like I picked up the numbers correctly and you didn't you didn't bring the X's in there I see what you did pick those you see the you see the dancing ants doing their X axis dance get it right see then it picked it up so you just have to just have to get a little you know you got you got to watch them you got to watch Excel they mess with you sometimes so there's that so so now uh, now what we would like to do and, and we'll do this next time we'll continue on to adjust this graph so that we can then ask questions like what if X is you know greater than so much and we'll do the between thing looking a little bit differently and we'll also add uh, the the Z scores uh, as well and add those to our graph in the following presentation